live right now should see this and should be here. So maybe this one. But uh, I am Michael Zacharias, one of your volunteer organizers for the One Million Cups Day Twin Beach chapter. I'm joined by more than 10 organizers. Organizers, put your hands up. Give them a round of applause. Anybody new to One Million Cups Day Twin Beach first time visitors? Raise your hands. Anybody? Yeah, look at that. Welcome. Welcome. So let me ground everybody on who we are real quick. Uh, we're the One Million Cups Daytona Beach chapter of the One Million Cups program that comes from the Coffin Foundation out in Kansas City. Right now in more than 140 cities across the country, 160, thank you Tyler. You can find a One Million Cups meetup going on just like you are here right now in Daytona Beach. So if you travel, you should definitely check that out. Or if you're a entrepreneur or business owner, you should be presenting at those other chapters so people can get to know you and what you're doing. So we meet here every Wednesday. Bring a friend, bring a colleague, and come support amazing entrepreneurs who are doing really cool things. And we have one today, an amazing entrepreneur doing something really cool, something that I personally don't know much about, but you hear a lot about uh, today with Bitcoin and the popularity of these digital currencies. So um, I don't want to take any of our speaker's thunder, but I want you to help me give it up for Victor, Victor Romero, uh, the founder of Mercury Cash from Orlando, Florida. Well, thanks for the invitation for uh, one million cups in Daytona. Uh, it's, a, it's a beautiful town. I, I like this town. Uh, well, uh, a lot of people is uh, doing questions about what is the cryptocurrency industry, what is happening at this point. Um, and how we can use it uh, is this legal uh, is going is is the cryptocurrency going to replace the fiduciary money uh, worldwide? Uh, can I use it? Uh, where can I use it? And things like that. Well, the thing is that uh, to be honest, like my point of view, the, the financial industry is going to change with uh, this industry because the blockchain technology allowed to create a cryptocurrency and. The cryptocurrency bring with them uh, the Bitcoin. But Bitcoin is not the only one cryptocurrency. We have now more than a thousand kinds of cryptocurrency. And we are, uh, Mercury Cash at this point is specializing on Ethereum. Okay? So, what Mercury Cash do? What, um, for example, when you have uh, dollars, you have a bank account, right? And you go to the bank and you create a, a bank account. Well, with Mercury Cash, you go through the website and you create your uh, bank account of cryptocurrency. But uh, is, uh, this is called a wallet address. So you, you, you are going to have an address where you can deposit your cryptocurrency. But the point is that Mercury Cash is the first company of Florida that got the money transmitters license with the Office of Financial Regulation to do it legal. Because uh, what uh, is happening on the industry is that the people say, oh, I'm going to uh, go to scan, or this is not legal, or, or uh, I can use it, uh, the bank are going to close my account, and things like that. But well, with Mercury Cash, this is legal, and, and you can do it absolutely trustworthy. Because before you create the account, uh, we do something called uh, know your customer. So to create an account with us is the same process as a bank. You need to submit your address, you need to submit your ID, you need to submit all your information, and you need to wait until the compliance offer approves the account for you. After you get the email with the account approved, you can start doing transactions. So, what, what is happening with the cryptocurrency? This is going to have uh, Eastern transactions, international transactions, lower fees, and a public ledger. Because one of the things is, for example, with the field ceremony, we can ask ourselves and say, how many dollars there are around the world? How many grand pounds there are around the world? How many gems? And I think nobody has the answer, because we don't know. But with cryptocurrency, we can know what's the supply of the market. So with that, we, we can have a, a, a honest bid and ask. And you can use it worldwide. So this is really good. Ethereum um, is the cryptocurrency, uh, the first cryptocurrency that we add to our system. And that is the second, the second one that we are going to add. Because one of the things is, uh, for example, uh, when, when we go to Walmart and buy uh, something uh, or food, and we use our card, we are using a guy we call a Visa MasterCard, right? 
And those systems can support until 2,000 transactions per second. But what happens when we have a one system worldwide working at the same time? We are going to surpass those limits, and the blockchain technology is going to allow this. And that is, uh, from my point of view, the cryptocurrency that is going to support uh, that size of transactions. Uh, I like always say uh, this as an example because uh, when the MP3 files uh, come to the industry, all the people was looking how they can handle it. Oh, I have this music here, I have this file here. So what iTunes is doing for the MP3 is what Mercury Cash is doing for the cryptocurrency. Easy way to use with your app on your phone. You can download it in, in, in your iPhone, in your Android, or just go through your website, through your PC. And, and you can use the system. Uh, when, when we do, when we did uh, uh, this slide, um, the price of Ethereum was uh, 288 uh, for Ethereum. Uh, today is $700. So this changed already. Um, we have a, a grow up, a growth up of the market of 5,000% since January. And uh, we, are, we are having, at this point, more than $500 million uh, in volume of transaction for them. How we start? We start doing mining, uh, because uh, this, this is the first thing that uh, the people is, uh, listen about the blockchain. Oh, the machine that made money for me, I want to buy one machine. So uh, when we start doing this, uh, of course, we, we grew up, and the machines, is uh, the responsible to register the transactions in the blockchain. This is uh, how Mercury Cash is growing up on customers. So every time we are getting more and more and more users, uh, this is amazing. Uh, we are uh, getting uh, four hundred thousand dollars on transaction per month. Uh, at this at this point, uh, we have more volume. Uh, this is really good. Uh, the other part is. Uh, we are the monitor snitchers and we offer the platform for the customers to uh, handle the cryptocurrency, but we are becoming uh, now in a trust company. It's like a, a, the legal framework uh, to be as a bank because we, we, we are starting to offer the custody because you are holding your cryptocurrency with us. So the part is that every time we are holding more and more money, holding more and more money. Because what happened? Uh, a lot of people say, I want to have a uh, have a wallet, or I want to have my own private, private keys uh, to have the control of my cryptocurrency. Yes, but you need to have certain point of, of knowledge to handle all of this. So if you are not a expert uh, with the computers uh, or handling the technology, I highly recommend that you use legal platform that protect the cryptocurrencies for you. Because if not, you can lose this. And a lot of people is getting uh, really, really rich and wealthy with the cryptocurrency. So uh, if you are in a Ferrari or in, uh, or in um, expensive things, the people, uh, and you have a, a, a big tag that say Bitcoin, so the people is going to know that maybe you have a hardware wallet. And if you have billions of dollars over there, you can protect the Bitcoin uh, or the Ethereum in a hardware wallet, but how you're going to protect yourself. So uh, uh, it's highly recommend that you use uh, companies that has a security system for this. And um, this is uh, how our revenue is increasing every month as a company. Uh, we're getting uh, more and more uh, income every month. Uh, what kind of, our cost, uh, uh, of customers we have? Uh, at this point, we are having people that is interested to, to participate in the ICO. This is, the ICO is something interesting on the market because um, a lot of people invest uh, in a stock market. So when you invest in a stock market, it's because the company uh, did an IPO. IPO means uh, initial public offering. But to do an IPO is really hard. When you are when you are a small company and you want to go through to this, do an IPO is really hard. But with the ICO or IPO, you are creating a token inside one blockchain that can track uh, every chair of your company and you can do raise capital, crowdfunding of the way that you want. And the thing is, when you are going to invest 
on ICOs or ITOs, you need to do it on Ethereum or or a kind of cryptocurrency that the company uh, accept. So uh, the game is going to change because now the investment is going to be in cryptocurrency and not in fiduciary money. The second kind of customer that we have is uh, people interest uh, in start trading cryptocurrency because uh, the market is exploding. They, they want uh, to invest on this. They want to start trading on, on different markets at different times. The good part of this is uh, the market never closed. It's opening uh, 24 cents. Uh, people, that, uh, investors that want to buy and hold the cryptocurrencies. And uh, people that just want to start uh, banking on cryptocurrencies. <coughs> when we analyze the market and, and we saw who is our competitors, uh, we can see many of them. But the, the, the part is uh, we need to see who is doing this business in the right way. Who has the license, who is doing everything transparent and regulated, and this is our competitor uh, uh, or my competitor. They are uh, much bigger than us, uh, but we are in the race. They have license already in 32 uh, states. We have the license here in Florida. Uh, we are starting uh, to do that process. Uh, there are many places uh, to buy cryptocurrency, but they have no license. And I highly recommend that if you are going to uh, invest on the cryptocurrency industry, make sure that that website has the license because. What happens when the website is not regulated? You don't know who is the company, you don't know who is behind, who is the person, the government uh, uh, didn't uh, background check for the shareholders. Quick, quick question, what license for whom? The state or federal license? Who's the license server? Uh, you need to have both. Uh, the state, the, for the state is the one transmitter's license and for the federal law is the FinCEN registration. So you need to be registered as a money service business with the Department of Trade uh, of the United States. So, uh, uh, the other places are good and are of the biggest one, but many of them already disappeared. So, it's a, a high possibility that you lose your money, but it's a, a risk kind of investment. Uh, what we have different to them, uh, they have uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin, and we are going to have Ethereum and Dash. So we are going to, fear, uh, to be the first uh, broker of the United States legal that is going to offer Dash investment. How we can do innovation? We are going uh, to penetrate Europe and Latin America. We already created companies in, in, in these parts. Uh, we are going to start trading on heroes and, and currencies in Latin America. The good part of this is uh, that uh, being uh, as a company in Florida, we are going to penetrate the Latin American market because all of them invest a lot of money here. So this is a good part for us. Uh, innovation in technology, we are, we are developing the NFC technology that means near field communication. Because now with our smartphone, we can use our phone to pay with Visa MasterCard in, in a Wawa station, right? Imagine if you can use the Mercury Cash app to pay in one of those point of sales. We are developing this, uh, it's, 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 it's really good. And uh, the QR code payments. It's really easy if you have a, a business, uh, a company, and you want to start receiving payments, you can create an account on Mercury Cash, and with the QR code, you can start uh, receiving the payments of cryptocurrency. It's uh, a little bit uh, longer the process, but it's really good to start receiving and uh, understanding the industry. So in our legal framework, what we have? We have the money transmitter's license issued by the Florida Office of Financial Regulation. In the federal law, we have the FinCEN registration with the Department of the uh, Treasurer. Uh, we are incorporated in the United States and the United Kingdom. Uh, of course, we do taxes uh, both sides. Uh, trademark, copyrights. Uh, we uh, get the copyrights for the first anti-money loading program for cryptocurrency. We have the business continuity program. It's something and uh, how you plan to keep the business running even if I die. The security bond is something that the government requires to protect the customer. Because what happens if the company dies? Where are you going to uh, redeem your money? So with the security bond, is a bond that you buy and you give that to the government and they keep it uh, like in storage. And when, when the one customer uh, sent a, a lawsuit, 
the court is going to give you the money because they have the bond. So the bond is going to protect this. And liability insurance, and of course, all our financial statements are audited by a external CPA. Uh, this is our core team. And uh, well, uh, this is the beginning. I would like to, to have more space for the questions and answer because I know I know that uh, uh, many of you have a lot of questions and how this works. All right, let's go.